It is only those who trust in God that can have the boldness to tell Him to remember their days of faithfulness. God is not unjust to forget the service of the love you rendered unto Him. It may look like your life is not amounting to anything. People have laughed at you and made you doubt your trust in God. They have moved your commitment to God because there's no physical evidence. Don't be disturbed or worried because God will always bless those who trust in Him. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him so that He will make your path straight. At this point in your life, it may not look like it. It may not look like God has blessed you, but He daily loads us with tremendous benefits. Just keep trusting in Jesus. Never stop trusting in God, because He always blesses those who trust in Him. The Bible, speaking in Psalms 34 verse 5, says, They looked to Him and were radiant. Their faces will never blush in shame or confusion. This is the word of the Lord, and you must remember that the word of the Lord does not come and return to Him void. He makes sure that He fulfills His promises toward you. He is not a man that He should lie, nor the Son of Man to change His ways. So trust in the Lord completely, not halfway, because He always keeps His promises. I know that the journey may not be easy. It may be tough, and you're already thinking of giving up. Maybe you have trusted God for money. You've seen ways to make money in an illegal way, but you've decided to trust in God instead. Don't worry. The Lord says He will supply all your needs according to His riches in Christ Jesus. Do not subscribe to the temptation of the devil to stop trusting God for your miracle. He always blesses those who trust in Him. He will never put you to shame if you trust in Him completely. Rely on God completely and He will never put you to shame. Or have you seen a man who trusts in God drawn in shame and disgrace? Never! It's never been so and it never will be so. Trusting in the Lord sometimes is not easy. It may be hard to trust in Him, especially when things aren't going fine with you. It's hard to trust in God when there's no light in the tunnel. And it's not equally easy to trust in God when you turn your left and right and there's no help coming from anywhere. By looking at what God said in His Word in Psalms 121, verse 1 to 8, will lift my eyes to the hills of Jerusalem. From where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber briefly nor sleep soundly. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in, everything that you do, from this time forth and forever. Your help will only come from God, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved by the Lord that neither sleeps nor slumbers will bless you because you have trusted in Him. God will always bless those who trust in Him because He does not fail in His word. The Bible said he's not a man that he should fail, not the son of man to change his ways. He is a God of all flesh. Don't think he's not with you in the storms. Remember the story of Jesus in the scriptures when the storm rose and Jesus was right in the middle of the storm and he calmed the storm. So don't worry today. Jesus is right there with you in the storm. 
He will come through for you. Keep trusting in Him. He will come to pass for you. God will always bless you if you trust Him continually. Imagine what would have happened to Abraham if he'd not trusted God completely. God told him he will be a father of many nations. He told him his children will be like the stars in heaven. And yet that time, he did not have a child, not even a single one yet. He did not stop trusting God. Abraham got a child at a hundred. And after he got the child, the Lord asked for the child as a sacrifice. Just imagine the kind of trust he had in God. He knew that the Lord would provide. He trusted that the Lord knows what he's doing and he's up to. Today, decide to trust that whatever God is doing, he's doing it for your good and your favor. God will always bless those that trust in Him, because He is a good and faithful Father. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, nothing less than five times. In essence, the Bible relates the fear of the Lord to wisdom. To fear the Lord is to hold Him in high esteem or to revere Him. God said He will honor those that honor Him and he will despise those who despise him. This is what a man of God told Eli the priest. Greatness is not in money or material possession. If it was, then a robber or a corrupt leader who embezzles the public fund is considered great. Greatness is about influence, positive influence. So, to be great, wisdom is a necessity. We must seek wisdom, and it must be for the good of others principally. This is the true hallmark of greatness, service. As long as people's welfare is not involved, there is no greatness. God is generous, very generous, and that is why we see God as a great God. We see that He is gracious to us in blessing us with all good things in life. He blessed us with life itself, with good health, with protections, gave us good weather and safety from accidents. With all this goodness, we know there is no way we are qualified or could repay His generosity. To be generous doesn't mean you have too much. Even in His generosity, God gave us His only begotten Son, Jesus, to die for our sins. He had no other son. But he gave him up, never to be like the way he was before he came. John 3 verse 16 This same heart and attitude a person must have to be great. It is an instruction for greatness. I mean true greatness.